Hey family, I've seen a lot of people ask if Dragonflight would be fun for a casual. I think sometimes when you're looking around at World of Warcraft content, especially on YouTube, and you see the race to world first and arena world championship, and you just see guides and Mythic Plus and all this stuff, it just looks real intense. And if you're a person that, you know, maybe used to play Warcraft a lot like that, but your life situations change. You know, you've got your job, your girl, your kids, the combo, whatever it is. And you're you're on the outside looking in. You'd be like, boy, I'd love to go back and play some Warcraft. But I don't have the kind of time for that shit. And from the outside looking in, it's hard to understand how you could have any fun if you're not super involved in that stuff. But I wanted to show you that I've actually been having a blast in Dragonflight. I mean, I've got my complaints. Don't you all know. But... Overall, I'm having a really good time just coming in this world and being a part of it. And as you can see, it's a lively joint. <laughs> We're all having a lot of fun. The music's great. The art's incredible. And uh, there's actually a lot of fun to be had. So, uh... Let's see if we can stir up some trouble. Oh, and as a little sweetener, don't forget you get this Winds of Sanctuary buff. 50% XP and rep bonus right now. So you can just soar through leveling and really catch up and be caught up with everybody in no time at all. Um, and we'll get back to the video, but real quick, let's do check out the new trading post items for the week. I already have the charger... The shirt is nice. I actually like that. That's cool. I can see that like on a mage. Maybe a rogue. A debonair rogue thing going here. I could see that. I do like this short sword. Sometimes less is more for me. Can I say that about T-Mogs? You know, you're, sometimes you're quick to dismiss this kind of stuff, but I can see this on like a real primal shaman. What about like a uh, wild hammer shaman build with this? This could look awesome. But I am definitely going to have to give me one of those. That is slick. Oh, look at this. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, that is intense. I like that. And then if you don't know, if you fill up, you go in game and I'll show you. But this is the mount you get if you fill your bar up. And it has dragon riding. So this will be a dragon riding mount. And uh, I got to say, I think it's fucking awesome. I think that looks really cool. And, uh, you know, I kind of bash it because I have like 900 mounts. But if it's the right one, I still get giddy for it. And I think that one looks pretty cool. If it had a holy glow to it, I'd probably pass out. I'll tell you that right now. I'd probably pass out. I don't know about the fintel for me. Because, I don't know. I just don't know about the fin tail. That looked a little watery for me. But I guess, man, does he flap it back and forth? And then that seems like that messes with the arrow. I don't know. I don't think I like the tail. The color's cool. Could be a, a, a nice paladin glow. But it is a very cool mount. So if you want any of that stuff when you first come in, you just open this adventure guide here. Now, I've already completed mine for June and got the uh, mount reward for this month, which was a parrot or something. But for next month, we'll start here in a few days, as you can see. And you just get credit for doing stuff in the game. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's been a great addition. Well, by now, you've probably heard about dragon riding. And uh, let me tell you, it's a trip. It's a lot of fun. Now, I do stand by my complaint that it's a little thrusty. And I would prefer it if my dragon would just go. However... It's still awesome. And just look at this world you can cruise around in. Huh? I mean, how many mods? How many fucking mods did you put in that Skyrim game, huh? From new river runs and white runs, new trees, new bushes, new animals, new weapons, just the amount of shit you put in that game just to create an, a beautiful fantasy world that you could run around in. Right? Isn't that what you wanted to do? Well, here you go. I mean, Dragonflight is awesome to roll around in. And 
I just have a good time killing the UI and flying around sometimes. Hello there, my name's Ian. I love to create beautiful game worlds. And then I love to create amazing new ways to experience that game world in dragon riding. And then I love to paste a bunch of information all over your screen like a goddamn billboard information that you don't need and just leave it stuck there to completely ruin your immersion. That's what I like to do. You know, cut the goddamn rock climbing and just high UI out of combat would go miles. For uh, just It just drives me nuts that I got to keep telling people, but the game is so beautiful. Uh, why they won't fix and make their UI more immersive uh, just drives me crazy. I get so worked up at this motherfucker, but then he hits me with those beams. Look at him. And now I'm swimming in oceans. I don't love this guy. Oh, and this is our relationship. A decades now, Oklahoma gang. We've been going around like this. It's toxic as fuck, but um, I can't help it. He's my special man, and I love him. So one of my favorite things about Dragonflight is that they actually give you a few days for dailies. So like here you'll see it says time left two days and 23 hours. Now I'm definitely going to do that one because I started playing in Warcraft when a gold was a lot of money. So 652 gold for me is almost like I, I feel almost obligated to go do that now. But you've got a few days so you can log on, you hit a few, you make a little cash. These are all right. These aren't so bad. Like this one here, this one's reputation. And uh, which is really good right now with that Winds of Sanctuary buff. These will give you a lot of reputation. And you can just click on each zone. And it'll give you a list of things that you can do. And look, I usually just pick the ones that I want to do. I love the dragon riding ones so much. Excellent work. I can see that the two of you will soon be formidable competitors. Another fun group of dailies is down here at the Tuscar. Y'all know me, I love all the fishing and stuff. There's these little fishing nets you can open. And they give you fish and supplies. And then if you do the quest to chase off the otters. And if you restock the fish. If you turn both those quests in, you can reset these fishing nets. And you just keep gathering fish that way. There's also a chance that you can get some rep items. So I've really enjoyed the Tuscar rep. You know, while we're waiting for this raid boss to spawn, one of the things I will say, if you're coming back to Dragonflight and you can get a little OCD about your bags like me, is that Dragonflight is an absolute assault on your bag space. I mean, holy shit. We've collected everything from trophies, relics, seashells just everything you can get your hand on we've grabbed and now we've got this new crest system i still don't understand it but it's just piling on and oh my god you know what was an easy gearing system that worked just great green blue purple period i think i'm kind of sick of the 3k or 4k purples and all this shit green Blue, purple, period. Breath incoming. Yeah, get that bastard. They did such a good job on this cave. It is just incredible. Isn't this awesome? Watch your step. Hit him, guys! Oh, hit him right in the dick! Oh my god! Hell yeah! So even if you don't have time to, say, join a raid group or really just sit at your computer for hours and do a raid or a mythic dungeon, sometimes just jumping in one of these world boss raid groups and knocking down a few of these world bosses can still be a lot of fun. And I don't care whether it's PvE or PvP, one of the most fun things you can do in Warcraft is just blow shit up with your boys. And there's nothing wrong with just coming here and getting a group for the uh, kind of harder content out here in the uh, caverns and just blowing shit up. I still have a good time with it. And of course, never let us forget, family, 
that most sacred of duties and greatest of pastimes, that which is the random battleground. If it was up to me, every swinging dick in this BG would be going to the sacred lumber mill. What the hell are the hordies going to do with the lumber mill anyway? Probably just turn it into another pig pen. Filthy fucks. Today we fight damn right. Look at that. See? God, I love these guys. Let's go ahead and pull up all the nameplates, though. You know, I should have pulled this down here. Let's save that real quick. A quick UI change. It's no problem. We'll just put this out. And we'll put our aura out. We'll get this down. We're healing everybody up. Go, warrior. Go, warrior. Gonna go ahead and put that on you. Oh, God. Cleanse the weak. Look how much shit I'm taking off everybody. Interrupted. No, sir. Shut up. Just shut up, Horty. On me. On me. Boy, I gotta tell you, I got my four piece and get me uh, extra. Just the holy power generation from that prism is really nice. Now we go airborne. Take this, take this, we take this. Got you, my brother in faith. Man of myself up, going hot. Got you, my brother. Got you, my warrior. Got you, my warrior. Good job, team. My man, let's just put you on ice right here. You just sit in that repent. Keep this warrior just going. Keep the warrior going because he's got the damage. There it is. Go, dead bud. Go, dead bud. More damage, family. Look at it. He's a killer. A lot of cooldowns. There it is. Got the big one from the lock. And then we'll just stun him right there. They love that. They love that. I think Stables is good. I don't think... I don't know. God, I feel like mines. We got everybody at Stables. Whoa, family. It's getting real at the blacksmith. Oh, God, dude. Wow, PvP is just the best, is it not? Giving you that bot family because I don't think I can keep him up without it. I'm almost doomed though. Good game, hordings. That's what I'm talking about, Blue. And so if you're one of those casuals sitting on the bench and you thought about dipping your toes back in the wow pool, but you just at a point in your life where you have no time for all that in-game shit, I wanted you to know there's actually a lot of fun to be had in Dragonflight, even casually. Between the weekly quest the daily quest, the world raid bosses, the world group events, random battlegrounds, dungeons. You take all of that stuff and wrap it up in a beautiful new world where you're dragon riding around from event to event and it's just a ton of fun even if you don't touch the end game stuff. And now we got the 10.1.5 patch right around the corner, including a new Mega Dungeon, a ton of great updates, including the new Holy Pally rework, right? And you top that off with the 50% XP and rep gains. There's just no more excuses, family. I'm not taking it. You get your casual asses in here, and you get to having a good time. You're going to love it. Talk to you again soon. Oklahoma out. We fight together.